Arrivo! Arrivo! Jayom Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Paribraja Kacharya Ashtatara Sutta Sri Srimad His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Ki His Confounder Acharya Srila Prabhupada Ki Nitya Lila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Srila Prabhupada Ki Nitya Lila Pravishta Srila Gorki Shrodas Babaji Maharaja Ki Nitya Lila Pravishta Srila Satchatananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Nitya Lila Pravishta Jai Vaishnava Sarva Bhoma Srila Jagannathas Babaji Maharaja Ki Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai Sri Rup Sanatan Bhatta Raghunath Sri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasa Raghunath Sagoshwami Prabhu Ki Namacharya Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Sri Advaita Gadarhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Ki Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopina Shyam Kun Radha Kun Giri Govardhan Ki Vrindavan Maya Purdam Ki Ganga Maya Yaman Maya Ki Tosi Maharani Bhakti Devi Ki Yuga Dharma Harinam Sankirtan Ki all glories to assembled devotees. All glories to assembled devotees. All glories to assembled devotees. All glories Sri Guru Sri Kauranga. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya. Krishna Pristaya Bhutale. Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namani. Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine.
nirvisesha sunyavadi pascha chade shatari So, today we are very happy to be in this auspicious occasion of the Vyasa Puja celebration of His Holiness Bhakti Vigna Vinas Nishinga Swami Maharaj. Krishna Bhakti Vigna Vinas Nishinga Swami Maharaj Ki, Shri La Prabhupada Ki, Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki. So, our program will begin with Kirtan. He is blessed, Devadharan Prabhu is here with us. He will offer Vaishnava glorification by singing Ohe Vaishnava Thakur. And then after that, we will request His Holiness to give Vyasa Puja address for all the devotees. So at this moment, we are taking opportunity to welcome all the devotees who have assembled here to participate in this program. And also we have got Devotee attending online from different parts of the world. Dear devotees, big welcome, Hari Bol to you. So now, as we said, we will commence this program with Vahe Vaishnava Thakur. Now to Devadharma Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vrishthaya Bhutale Simate Bhakti Vedanta Saminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvise Sasanavadi Pasatta De Satarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adyaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Sri Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna से कोरुना कोरी ओहे वैष्णव तकुर दयारा सागर हेदा से कोरुना कोरी ओहे वैष्णव तकुर दयारा सागर से कोरुना कोरियो ए वैष्णव ठाकुरा धोयरा सागरा इधर से कोरुना Yes. 
पाचे जाए पाजे पाचे पाचे ओहे वसना बताकुर दायर सागर ऐदा से करुना करी ओहे वसना बताकुरा घर सागर ऐदा से करुना करी जाया वसना बताकुर जाया वसना बताकुर वसना बताकुर जाया वसना बताकुर Wonderful. Now, when the first stage was announced, you will be accepted as well. All the devotees, I have those who are in online. They are able to hear us. Uh, Vinay Prabhu, is it sounding okay? Can you confirm with them? Can you hear everything? From yoga pit. From yoga pit. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Goravani Pracharine Nirvise Shashunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vancha Kaupataru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhai Vacha Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So I've had some very good fortune in my life. I, although I had a lot of misfortune, I had some very good fortune that I was able to contact the Krishna consciousness movement when I was a, still a young man. So that was a a re really a blessing for me that I could con that I could come in touch with Krishna consciousness. I'd been looking for a spiritual guide, a spiritual teacher, and somehow I had the good fortune to purchase a book of Srila Prabhupada's and that brought me to visit to the Krishna conscious temple which had been established in London. It had already been established for a few couple of years, but I'd never gone there. But after getting the book, and after actually reading some of the book, then I was convinced that I really had to go and visit the Krishna Conscious Center and find out more about the Krishna Consciousness 
teachings. So I had my own philosophy before going there, and it was really enlightening for me to go there and meet the devotees. At the, in those days, devotees were very young, teenagers even. And they didn't really have a lot of education, but they had a lot of spiritual potency. They were very convinced about Krishna consciousness. They had great faith in what they were doing. And I thought I had some philosophy. I thought I knew about spiritual life. But after I talked to them, I realized I didn't know anything. They, they knew much more than I had ever learned. So I began to go regularly. I took the process up seriously. And this is how Krishna consciousness works. In the Nectar of Devotion, Srila Prabhupada describes how Krishna consciousness is within every living entity. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj describes, Nitya Siddha Krishna Prima Sadhya Kabunai Shravanadi Shuddha Chiti Kori Hi Udai. The love of Krishna is in the heart of every living entity and it is, it is awakened by hearing. So the purpose of the Krishna consciousness movement is to give people the opportunity to hear about Krishna. And if by hearing they can awaken their Krishna consciousness. The example is given like the young child at birth, child cannot walk. But gradually, with practice, the child learns to walk. The walking capacity is dormant in the child. It hasn't developed. It takes a little time for the child to grow and to practice, and gradually the child begins to walk. So in the same way, Krishna consciousness is dormant within the hearts of all living entities. And we want to awaken that Krishna consciousness. Last night I was teaching a course on the Bhakti Vaibhav to some devotees in the Middle East and we were doing the section on Vritasura. And there's a very wonderful purport there because the, the verse was actually about Vritasura, how uh, the demigods had come to a great sage called Dadichi and they were requesting Dadichi to give the bones from his body. You know, it's an unusual request, right? Somebody comes to you, would you like to, could you give your bones? So Dadichi was very rich in austerity and also transcendental knowledge and he did not refuse the demigods, but he wanted to hear some uh, religious teachings from them. So for, in, in, for a little while he was saying, you know, the body is the thing we're most attached to. You want me to give the bones from my body? You know, don't you know death is the most painful thing? The time of death, leaving the body is very painful. You want me to give up my body so you can get my bones? Like this, Dadichi was uh, speaking to the demigods and he wanted to hear what the demigods were going to say. Dadichi was already willing to give the body to give up the body, 
He was not attached to the material world. He understood the nature of the material world, that there's no real pleasure, no real happiness there. So he was ready to, get, to sacrifice his life so that the demigods could get his bones. But he wanted to hear some philosophy from them. So the demigods replied to Dadichi that, you know, it's difficult sometimes to beg. When you go begging, maybe when you took initiation, did you go and do begging? Did you go and beg donations from people? It's not very easy. You, we, 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 we haven't done that too often. It's not common practice. But sometimes, you know, we do that. So some devotees, you ask them to go and Sankirtan and distribute books and they feel very shy. They don't like to approach people and they don't, especially they don't like to ask them to give money. <laughs> And so the demigod said, it's very difficult, you know, you should understand it's difficult sometimes to beg. And they also said, you know, it's also difficult for people to give sometimes. Because not everybody has wealth that they can give to others. Some people are poor and they don't have enough for themselves even. So how can they give charity to others? So the demigod said, it's difficult sometimes to ask and it's difficult also to give. This was how the demigods replied. So Dadichi thought, very nice. <laughs> he said, all right, I'll give you my body. Anyway, there's a purport in this section where Prabhupada talks about how just as the demigods were in a very difficult position, life-threatening condition because this demon Vritasura had been created and he was fighting on the side of the demons against the demigods. So he said in the same way, at the present time, Prabhupada's talking, 1970s, he said at the present time the world is also in a very precarious situation, very dangerous situation. And he said, we need young people to sacrifice their life and join this Krishna consciousness movement. He said, we need people of knowledge, people who are educated and cultured to take up this Krishna consciousness movement and to spread God consciousness around the world. He said, it's the only hope to save the suffering humanity. People are suffering. One devotee wrote to me recently from Malaysia. She's working as a doctor and she told me how her hospital had been made into a COVID hospital. And she was telling me how so many people are dying there. People are suffering, not only because of COVID. In Prabhupada's time also, they were suffering. The same miseries are there. It hasn't changed. If there's always old age and disease and death for everyone. And of course, sometimes the disease and death may come before you're old. Young people also die. There's no guarantee that we will live forever or live to old age. But Prabhupada was taking advantage of this situation in the Srimad Bhagavatam to describe the mood in which people should take up this Krishna consciousness movement, that they should want to dedicate their life for the service of Krishna Consciousness. And they should want to do this out of compassion for people who are suffering in this material world. We should feel genuine concern for the welfare of people. 
all over the world. In fact, not only people, all living entities. A devotee is kind to all creatures. The trees, the plants, the insects, but especially our preaching is meant for the people. We want to enlighten the people about Krishna consciousness. So that compassion has to be there. Prabhupada gives examples, he said, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at the age of 24, he left his young wife who was only 16 and his elderly mother who was a widow, he left them alone to take sannyas for the higher cause. The cause was to deliver the world the, the teaching of Krishna Consciousness, to establish the Krishna Conscious mission. And then we have also the example of Lord Chaitanya's principal followers, like the six Goswamis. The six Goswamis, Rupa Sanatan, Raghunath, whose appearance day is today, Raghunath Bhatta, Gopal Bhatta, Jiva Goswami, they all came from good families, well ed educated, cultured families. Raghunath was very wealthy, Rupa and Sanatan also had incredible wealth. They gave it all up to join Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission to go and live in Vrindavan as mendicants, to establish the holy place, to rediscover the holy places of Krishna's pastimes, and to establish temples for the benefit of the future devotees. Just like this temple which is coming up now here in Mayapur, we don't know when it will open, it may take some more years, but for the future, for the future mankind, for the future devotees, that they will come and benefit, they'll see the big temple which has been established by the Krishna Consciousness Movement. Just like in Vrindavan, Rupa Goswami is said to have built Govinda Ji temple, but many others also helped. He got help from others like Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. He also arranged substantial financial support for the construction of the temple. So it's Krishna consciousness is teamwork. We all work together to try to establish the Krishna Consciousness Movement. At the same time, there's transcendental competition. Prabhupada encouraged that. Just like every year we have, they would have Christmas Marathon, try to distribute more books. We were hearing, his Indra Jumna Swami was saying the other day on a, a on a call uh, to China devotees, he was telling how in America this year, over a six-week period, they distributed two million copies of the Bhagavad Gita. It's an, an, a very noteworthy achievement. Two million copies. Of course, it's nothing compared to what Christians will distribute when it comes to the Bible. But still, Bhagavad Gita is very good. It's a very big achievement. More people are getting the books. Of course, we want to see not only Bhagavad Gita, we like to see Srimad Bhagavatams everywhere. That every home has a set of Srimad Bhagavatam. Prabhupada had his vision for the future of the Krishna Consciousness Movement. That the judges in the High Court would all have tilak. 
They'd all be devoted. And in the parliament, all the members of parliament should be twice initiated brahmanas, following the four principles. Prabhupada had wonderful vision for the future. We are still developing. We're, this is the beginning of the Krishna consciousness movement. Sometimes people say, Oh, where are your temples? Where is this? Where is that? We have to say, well, we're, we're a very new society, right? We just celebrated 50 years a few years ago. We thought that's a big achievement, 50 years. <laughs> of course, 50 years is just, just the beginning. Buddhism has been around 2,500 years, Christianity is 2,000 years, Islam is less, less than that. These religions, they're all more than a thousand years old. So Krishna consciousness, so it's, it's new, but at the same time it's not new. When I was giving class to Russia the other day, somebody asked me that, because I'd mentioned that this teaching has a history of thousands of years. So he was surprised. He said, I thought this, this was a new movement. I thought this was a new society. Yes, ISKCON is new, but Krishna consciousness is not new. ISKCON is the new society, a new name. Like Prabhupada wrote one beautiful poem glorifying his spiritual master for his Vyasa Puja. He said, oldest of all, but in new, new dress, miracle done, your divine grace. Right? The oldest of all, Krishna consciousness, but in a new dress. This is Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati established Gaudiya and then afterwards Srila Prabhupada comes along and establishes ISKCON. It's the new dress for the oldest thing. Krishna consciousness is it's not new, it's very old. It goes back to the beginning of time, to the birth of Lord Brahma, with the beginning of the birth of Brahma from the lotus flower. He gets the holy name, he gets Krishna consciousness. Lord Brahma is our Adi Guru in our Sampradaya. And so he was, he was the devotee from the beginning. He got Krishna consciousness. So Krishna consciousness is not a new thing. It's eternally there in the spiritual world. Goloka, Vaikuntha, they're all pure devotees. They're all Krishna conscious. They're Nitya Siddhas, eternally liberated souls. So this Krishna consciousness movement is another opportunity for all of us rebellious souls that we can be awakened to Krishna consciousness that we can re-establish ourselves in the Krishna conscious platform. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu would say, Jivarswarupahaya Nitya Krishna Das. The, the living entity's constitutional position is to be the servant of Krishna. So we have that Krishna consciousness, we just have to develop it. We want to take up the process faithfully, seriously, and endeavor to get out from this material world. There will always be turmoil here in this world. This is the place. This planet is called Mrityu Loka, the planet of death. Prabhupada would say, death is sure. So we want to, we don't want to lament about these things. 
Jai, His Holiness Subhak Swami Maharaj Ki. Jai. We don't want to be bewildered, we don't want to be lamenting about the body getting old, getting diseased and dying. We want to take full advantage to develop our God consciousness, to go back home, back to Godhead. Would you like to speak, Maharaj? <laughs> we'll, they'll be happy to hear from you. And many people are in China listening also. So you're going to visit many countries from here. This is a nice way to travel, yes. to sit here in one place and be everywhere. Shall we call it virtual? Yeah, we're just, we're just like being the super soul, you know, Krishna's everywhere. <laughs> nice presentation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tha Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, China. Philippines? Taiwan. No, I, I don't go to Philippines. Thailand? Thailand, Bangkok. Mm. Thailand. <laughs> I just came to see, to listen what you speak. I've been e explaining the urgency of Krishna consciousness and how Prabhupada wrote in the purport in the sixth canto in relation to the Dichi Muni. Prabhupada was imploring people, educated people, to sacrifice their life for the service of the Krishna Consciousness Movement. Just like Dadichi sacrificed his body for the demigods to get his bones, he said, you people, you young people, educated people, you should sacrifice your life for this Krishna Consciousness Movement. Because the world, people are suffering all over the world and they need to be delivered. And only Krishna Consciousness is the solution to the problems of the world. There's no other solution but Krishna Consciousness. What everything else they may try, you know, they're thinking the inoculation, injection, it's not going to save us from old age, disease and death. Only Krishna Consciousness can get us out from this condition in the material world. So there's a need, an urgent need for people to sacrifice, to give their life to distribute this Krishna Consciousness movement. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Yari deki tare kaho Krishna upadesh, amara gaya guru hana tare desh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has ordered everyone, wherever you go, whoever you meet, tell them about Krishna. In this way become a spiritual teacher. All of you, you all have to become spiritual teachers. Atul Krishna Prabhu was telling me he, they're planning to begin a, a new course. Just like we have a disciple course, they're going to have a guru course. <laughs> to train people to accept the responsibility of being spiritual master. Jaipataka Swami Maharaj has some ideas about things which people need to learn before they take up the guruship, to, pre to prepare them for that responsibility. But everyone should do it. There's no reason why. But nobody says, oh, you have to be a sannyasi to be guru. No. Nobody said you have to be 
Brahman, or you have to, but we should be a Brahman. <laughs> it should be twice initiated, right? Nobody said you, you have to be full time devotee. You may not be full time devotee, but you should be full time dedicated. Although you're not living in the temple, you should be committed, fully committed to the Krishna consciousness movement. So Krishna consciousness is expanding, but somehow ashram is diminishing. Both should expand. As the, as, as the congregation expands, ashram should also expand. Young men should come and be trained. If they get good training in brahmachari life, then they can also go on and become householder. There's no bar that because you're trained as brahmachari, you cannot marry. Actually, the good brahmacharis will make good householder devotees. It's a good training, it's a good preparation for future ashrams. Many of the young boys there in the Gurukula, Bhaktivedya Purna Maharaji's traditional Gurukula, they, some, some will become sannyasis and some will marry and become householders. But they will be very good devotees because they're very well trained. They have a very good introduction to spiritual life. So that training is very important. We come here to Mayapur to get training, to get education. We, we see so much nice devotees, they come here, they learn play Madanga very nicely, they learn Kirtan very nicely. We have wonderful music people like Deva Dharma here, Prabhu, teaching and just hearing him sing and chant. Then it's very inspiring for other devotees to learn. And so many senior devotees, also, Janani Vas Prabhu, Pankajangari, they're, how they're fully engaged in the deity worship and doing service. So, it's not that in old age we don't do anything. So, so we'll ask Subhak Swami Maharaj to please give some words of guidance and enlightenment for all of you. Subhak Maharaj is also my Shiksha Guru. When I joined the Krishna Consciousness Movement, he was there. He was in the temple. When I, when I first went to the temple, he was already a full-time devotee. So I was impressed when I saw him because I saw he was the only Indian there. I thought, wow, even, <laughs> even the Indians are joining this. <laughs> because everybody else was, you know, white. <laughs> we were all English, British people. But Subhak Swami, I thought, oh, he's, even the Indians are joining here. <laughs> Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gaudavani, Pacharine, Nirvisesa, Sunabadi, Pasyata Desutayani. So today is a very auspicious occasion and we feel fortunate to be here joining this program of a devotee, Vaishnav, Yod, uh, so that 
we can enrich our bhakti in our journey back to our original home, original life, Krishna consciousness. For that, bhaktis to bhagavad bhakta sange na purijate. Moment question comes how you get bhakti, we have to associate our Acharya says you have to associate with the body. Here, from realized soul, those who are experienced in this line, pure, setting example. If I look back, I am getting old, now I am 80 years old. My memory is a little not so much, can you, but as I reflect, I saw Maharaj there. There are many devotees. They are English, as he says, some American, few from here and there. Not American, not English, maybe from, one is from Armenia, Indian, French, like that, few others, like Jamaica, Jagat Guru, Naki, what is his name? I forgot. And few others. Still, he's there in England, in London. Last I went. So, there are many devotees. Some of them stand out as a big leader. They were not. Some out very efficient in something, playing midanga or some. I saw Maharaj. I used to go all Sankita, I'm good for nothing, I must admit. The Pope asked me to translate his books. But they asked me to do something in the kitchen. But I like maybe chanting in the streets. And some devotee asked me, can you try to distribute book? I must say I'm not that very pushy. You should be, all these things, technique you should know, which they show and train in the temple how to approach people that I saw that. And uh, as I understand and remember, little Mori is also one of them doing Parkitan, and I think he enjoyed it, I understand. Kitan is very blissful. I also like very much doing Kitan. I saw them fast like that, these con devotees. And uh, compared to others, Summer stands out. I think I saw Maharaj by me from my childhood experience of this, whatever I had experienced. So he looked a little bit different from others in a sense that just like, like a monk, shall I say, uh, what is characteristic of that I, I, as I remember, he and his sister, he has a sister also. I said, he also, yes, she was also here, as I remember, all these things. Later, for a long time, I didn't see him, because I left uh, England. And Prabhupada asked me to go so many places, and asked me to do. I must say, I'm not good for him, but in that sense, I see he's taking great responsibility, and Prabhupada gave Seeing somebody's capacity, talent in different field, the Prabhupada wanted to use it, dovetailing it to Krishna consciousness, so that we make progress in spiritual life at the same time spread Krishna consciousness. Our movement is a movement of preacher, which means he has to set up example, he has got a very good character, purity, and detached from materialistic way of life means gross and subtle sense gratification. In that way, I find marriage very good. Especially worldly enjoyment and keep himself absorbed in Krishna consciousness. So devotee can learn from others. I understand as long as you live, we should always learn. And here is many devotees, we can learn from everybody. We can learn most from those who are realized, those who are pure, those who are dedicated. And this way our, our 
society is like a garland flowers taken from different plants some are very beautiful some are very fragrant and one can make a garland or a bouquet out of it i mean unity in diversity so you can learn so much here is the opportunity every best puja Prabhupada says all my disciples can become guru and those who are others coming also because we require many preacher preacher means more or less guru you are enlightening other so best to hear hearing and chanting so those who are long time in the movement Prabhupada says they must have some beauty beauty is the force and I see Maharaj as I find he is very steady and consistent and it shows beauty definitely and steady this is very important especially in our society to set up example one thing is naturally to expand the society we require many manpower and different preachers collector all this is good we require the hands work hands should do heads work heads should do legs work legs should do this way maharaj is preaching later sometime i saw after that in england uh, as i remember in hong kong i was speaking i heard he um, did so much austerity to learn chinese which i heard is very difficult uh, nearly 2000 alphabet you should know not easy thing jai yeah, he learned this mandarin one of the chinese mainland i think near hong kong maybe other parts also i had to preach and as a as an englishman or you know you came man he good english so he was a english lecturer in school in university or something and through that preaching because our acharya says jeno teno prakarana by any means you bring somebody to the lotus feet of krishna that is preaching anyway somebody is cooking he is also preaching one sense somebody is dressing deity is so beautiful that people think that instead of going to other temple come to iskon why krishna the <laughs> devotee knows how to dress krishna radha with flowers only sometimes simply with flowers so everybody pooja say this is bring people and seeing mayapur he one gujarati i remember he saw maybe businessman simply seeing i have never seen so nicely dressed is that a ditty because pooja said i have picked up the best flower of different countries you understand what i mean what pooja said in iskon i have taken the best flower of different parts of the world your country in other words these devotees are not ordinary something rare those whoever join in iskon and dedicating their life in krishna consciousness is a man not my word i am just repeating what pooja said so we should take it very seriously krishna consciousness otherwise you won't last because my is very strong is science ignorant it make us forget krishna that is my in general that is why it is very important those who are pure those who are long time experience realize hear from them hearing is most important one should have a very much eager to hear from realize so thereby krishna within the heart most of the people in the mode of passion and ignorance and thereby the dirty things material contamination will be washed up then they come to a platform thinking we are all spirit soul we are not chinese indian english american irish that is that is is gone not on the body level but on the spiritual level you are here why because we identify ourselves with the spirit so we don't see any different we see this common thing and give it more most important then there is no indian and pakistani is joy hari used to be there is so much you know, i remember we have got a good like a small family in early days in iskon each temple is like a small family though they come from different countries you know different background ha huh? 
but they are working together for Krishna because why? They are actually, this is based on love and trust, which is very much lacking in the material world. And they are suffering even they don't know they are suffering. Just like an ass or a hog. He's suffering. He was Indra. He's reminded. Still he said, no, I like this life. I don't want it. This is material life. And this can, somebody can educate those who are experienced, pure. And what should I say? All these good qualities of a Vaishnava uh, who, who are uh, 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 manifesting by cultivating Krishna consciousness. Steadily, seriously, sincerely, without pretension. Because the path of devotional service is like a reja rage, in this case, Hurasadhara, Nishito Durakta is very difficult to stay, maintain purity, standard, quality. This is what is wanted. But in a big organization, to expand at the same time maintaining purity, standard, quality, very difficult. But one can do, one group of devotees can do this. Purity, standard, quality. And others, those who cannot, they can expand. Some can do both in between. That is why I say Krishna consciousness means um, uh, uh, everything do with proper adjustment or harmony. Do different things there that it can make into variety, unity in variety. Make one thing with different things. This is our philosophy. The harmonist. Uh, you know, harmonium, different sound, we put together into one beautiful sound, come on. This is singing, playing harmonium. So, Vaishnava are called harmonist. You should know. That is why it's called proper adjustment. Or dovetail everything at Krishna. Otherwise, it is zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. Moment at Krishna, for the pleasure of Krishna, for the pleasure of Krishna's pure devotee, then you become a united nation, real, the real spiritual world, Krishna's family. Here we are already in the uh, spiritual world. Simply consciousness, we have to, that Krishna consciousness. Then we can hear only. So, dying here in association with the good devotees, by chanting, dancing, preaching, hearing to deliver the other, those who have fallen in Kali Yuga, everybody, Tamagun and Rajagun, bring them to the mode of goodness by association of good Vaishnav, Vaishnavi. So there is no difference between Vaishnav. There is the, in Iskon now they have got GBC ladies, GBC uh, b -b 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 preacher, the most important leaders that are becoming. So they can also come forward. Papa said, my girls are no less than the boys. They're sometimes collecting so much money, don't keep a penny in their pocket. This is the El Sanasi. Not attached to money, power, and sense object. So we have got a great responsibility to take the Chaitanya Mahapu wanted that every town and village people will be chanting. This is called Swatta Sankalpa. When God says something to the pure devotee, that will happen definitely. But one who is intelligent, he says, Shumedhasa. One who is Shumedha, good brain, real intelligence, not material, spiritual intelligence, Krishna gave, he should take this opportunity and make his life sublime. And inspire others. One should not be keep on. No? I am all the remain pure due. No. How to deliver? Just our uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associate, uh, is the one. Uh, he said, My dear Lord, people are suffering, don't know. Whole universe you can deliver. Why don't you deliver them? Though they are in the jail, suffering in this material existence. But they don't know they are suffering, many of them. Please deliver them. I will, this is Vaishnava, I will accept on behalf of them, you deliver them, I will accept all their 
sinful result of the sinful activity. This is Vaishnava, pure devotees, one of the symptoms. So devotee is taking risk, go out for preaching. So Kishkan is a Gostanandi group. That means all together try to deliver as many people as possible till the Chaitanya put desire is fulfilled. So we have to take risk of life. Devotee sometimes suffered so much during, before Russia, we, we opened the door. And Prabhupada just put, so one seat, Ananta says, some or other, made Bhakta. You can see later on from that, just like a banyan tree, you put one seed, and from seed, huge banyan tree come. It has got innumerable fruits, and each fruit had got again so many seeds. So like that, each of you can be a guru in that sense. One who is preaching is a teacher. Teacher means guru. But at the same time, we have to set up an example of the ideal character, purity, standard. So we have got this responsibility. This way we can, as Prabhupada showed, Acharya means one who himself acts. Here Maharaj, you see, for so many years, within this time, in institutions, so many things happen. I don't want to say dark side, better say the bright, bright side. Here is one example, Maharaj. There, and it must be Pupa said, somebody is long time in the movement, he has got some purity. Must be. Otherwise, Maya will kick him out. Without becoming qualified, one cannot come. Krishna is Param, Pavitram Param. Uh, supremely pure. So, we have to they associate with Krishna and give Krishna. We have to be also like that. So here is your Maharaj, your Guru, Maharaj, also our Guru, if we learn from him. Of course, I told already, as long as I live, I learn from him. So here is, I feel fortunate to be here, to share with Maharaj and learn and ask you what I learned from Prabhupada, telling something, as I remember, it comes out spontaneously. So I heard that there's something highly, uh, Prabhupada spoke about the Chinese devotee. Prabhupada said, from China, when the devotee will come, they will be very strong and steady. Something like that, he said. So we expect so much from you. And when a pure devotee is saying, definitely it will happen, so I welcome you all the Chinese devotees from China or those who are followers or from that country coming already become leader and preach Krishna consciousness and get the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead through leaders like Maharaj and deliver others under his guidance. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. So we take this opportunity to thank His Holiness. Hare Krishna. So dear devotees, we are uh, running a little late. Never mind. We hope everybody will cooperate with us so that we can be on time. So we are taking this opportunity to thank His Holiness Subhak Swami Maharaj for enlightening us the importance of becoming a true follower in Krishna Consciousness Movement. So Maharaj is, you know, it is, be pure. If you are in the moment for a long time, that's the proof that Krishna has chosen you to be here to play as an instrument in Krishna's hand. So we've got so many nice devotees here. Of course, His Holiness is there to bless us today. So now we'll move on to the next part of our program. So we will invite uh, two devotees from entire Chinese Yatra to offer their homage for His Holiness at this point in time. So now I would like to invite uh, His Grace Gadadhar Prabhu. Maybe Gadadhar Prabhu can come forward to this place and you can give your homage. So here is Gadadhar Prabhu, Hare Krishna.
Намо вишну бадай Кришна пришта мутлейш мате бахти на меня шана симха самит на мене намо вишну бадай Кришна пришта мутлейш мате бахти виданта самит на мене намасте сарсвати деви коровами прочерены и решающие мои пощады считарины I have asked from Subodhi Roy that I need to prepare some prayers for you dear Guru Maharaj and yesterday I was in a train from Rindavan to Mayapur, and I have prepared small budget on Chinese. <laughs> so I would like to read English translation, and then uh, chant for one minute. So translation is that, Shiva Guru Maharaja, please, please accept my humble obeisances. I put my hands together and begging for your shelter and blessings. Only if I become your servant, I will have the future and hope. O Shila Gurudev, you never give up preaching Hainam Sankirtan. Therefore, you have become my role model. Please accept my respect again. You never deviate from Shila Prabhupada's spiritual message. You are full of confidence in him. I hope and pray to absorb all your qualities. Your perfect teaching without any mental speculation. You are sharing with us in a simple way. I feel very lucky to listen to your lecture and instructions. Oh, great soul, I'm very grateful to you. With the touch of knowledge, you eliminate the darkness. May your glory will be spread everywhere, all the world. Again and again, I'm offering to you my obeisances. You sacrifice your life, soul, and everything what you have. I cannot ex express how grateful to you. I beg you for forgiveness, of my numerous mistakes. I have no any qualifications, your servant, Gadadar Pandit Das. Shri Guru Maharaja Chini Jie Shou Chien Bai Dai Ding Bai O Shuan Shou Hai Shui Chiu Bi Hu Hai Zhu Fu Zou Nin Da Pu Ren O Cai Yau Lai Si Wan Mai Fen Mi Miao Shen Guru De Wa Jie Bu Fan Xia Hai Nam San Gir Tan Zong Zui Ni Chen La Wada Bayan Chini Zai Tsi Jie Shou O Dai Ding Bai Shila Guru Maharaja Chini Jie Shou O Bai Wei Dai Ding Bai O Shuan Shou Ha Shui Chiu Bi Hu Ha Zhu Fu Zou Ni Da Pu Ren O Cai Yau Lai Si Wan Shen Pra Pu Ba Da Lin Sin Da Sin Si Shen pra pu pa da lin xin da xin xi Mei ci jiang shu to su bi pian li Du ni da chu man jia jin xin da xin xi Si wan nen qi shou ni so you da ping ji Shen guru de wa ma ha ra jia Chi ni jie shou o bai wei da yin bai O shuan shou he shi chiu bi hu he jiu fu Zou ni da pu ren o cai yau lai si wan Ni so chuan ta da wan mei da jiao da Mei ren he si bian he xin zhi tui chao Yi jin dan da fan shi gai wo man fan xiang Chi ni da jiang ke wo gan jie hen ji xiang Shri La Guru Maharaja Chini Jie Shou O Bai Wei Dai Ding Bai O Shuan Shou He Shui Chiu Bi Hu He Jiu Fu Zou Ni Da Pu Ren O Cai Yau Lai Si Wan Wei Da Da Lin Hun To Ku Yau Ni Yi Ji Shui Hu Ji Jiao Liang La Hei An Yuan Ni Da Rong Yau Sui Shu Chuan Yang Li Bian Yau Yi Bian Siang Ni Ding Bai Shri Guru Maharaja Chi Ni Ji Shou O Bai Wei Da Ding Bai O Shuan Shou He Shui Chiu Bi Hu He Jiu Fu Zou Ni Da Pu Ren O Cai Yau Lai Si Wan Ni Feng Xian La Shen Ni 你分享了神明
灵魂和一切无法表达，我对你的感谢。我犯的过失，请你原谅。没任何资格的，嘎达达达达。希拉古鲁玛哈拉扎，请你接受我卑微的敬拜。我双手合十，求庇护和祝福，做你的仆人，我才有了希望。希拉古鲁玛哈拉扎，请你接受我卑微的敬拜。双手合十，求庇护和祝福，做你的仆人，我才有了希望。哈利·克里斯曼。Thank you, Godadar Prabhu. Hare Krishna. We can see the devotees are enjoying like anything. Okay, now we invite Her Grace Suchitra, Devi Chitra, Charu Chitra. Mataji, to come forward and uh, give your glorification. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Dear Guru Dei. 大地威格纳维纳沙纳尔辛哈马哈拉，请接受我恭恭敬敬的顶拜。一切荣耀归于圣帕帕德，一切荣耀归于您，咕噜队。祝您生日快乐！尊敬的咕噜队，能够成为您的门徒，是我今生极大的幸运。是您让我明白，在这个世界上，一个真正完美而又充满爱的人是怎样的。是您让我觉悟到，生命的终极目标是什么。是您让我感受到，作为人存在于这个世界所肩负的使命是什么？那就是努力的成为一个纯粹的奉献者，全力以赴的去传播奎什纳直觉，永远想着奎什纳，永远不忘记奎什纳。亲爱的咕噜玛哈拉兹，您的语言、您的临在和您展示给我们的一切，都以最直达心灵的方式授予我们智慧和仁慈。在您的教导与庇护下，通过奉献服务，我感受到深深的快乐和极大的满足。您是那么仁慈，您对众生充满了爱。每当我想起您，我就充获得了极大的勇气和力量，无限感恩您无言的仁慈。祝您身体健康，福如东海，传教顺利。Krishna Matya Astu。呃，您的谦卑的仆人，加入汽车，呃 ，David D. C. My request can translate some English, so we are understand because we don't know in China. Translate. Hare Krishna, dear Guru Dev. Bhakti Vigna Vinasha Narasimha Maharaj, please accept my respectful obeisances unto you. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. All glories unto you, Guru Dev. Wish you have a very happy birthday, dear Guru Dev. I feel this is my greatest fortune to become your disciple. It is you who make me understand in this world how it is like to become a perfect and a person full of love. It is you who make me realize the ultimate goal of life, and it is you who make me feel what is my mission as a human being existing in this world. That is to try my best to become a pure devotee, and I should spare no efforts to spread Krishna consciousness, and I should always think of Krishna and never forget about Krishna. Guru Maharaj, your language. Your presence and everything you exhibit to us, this is the direct way to bestow wisdom and mercy to our hearts. And under your instructions and shelter, through devotional service, I feel great pleasure and deep satisfaction. You are so merciful. You are full of love to all the living entities. Whenever I think of you, I got great courage and strength. And I am unlimitedly,、uh, unlimitedly grateful to your causeless mercy. So I wish you have a very 
health.、Uh, I wish you to be very healthy, and the fortune would come like the eastern sea. And I wish you to have very smooth preaching. Krishna, my dear Astu, Hari Krishna, your humble servant, Charu Chitra Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So so far we have、uh, heard from two devotees from Mayapur, living currently, but originally from China. As you know, Maharaj's、uh, heart is with Chinese devotees. Maharaj loves them so much. I don't have to express because I have some experience. I have heard. I have seen personally how Maharaj is very much kind to you all. Of course, you all know. So、uh, you know our Krishna consciousness movement is full of varieties, right?、Yeah. When you are honoring Prasadam, you need how many items? <laughs> At least four or five items, right? Then you can enjoy. So similarly, in any program, it has to be filled with different varieties. So now we are going to move our attention to the screen. Let's hear. Let's watch a drama. Directed by Her Grace Jamuna Priya Mataji from China, so the Chinese devotees have prepared one drama for us. Let's watch this drama, and after that, we'll go on to the next program of hearing from different congregation members from around the world.、Uh, and at that time, I will give the control to His Grace our Padmalochan Prabhu from Singapore. So now, let's go to the screen to move the. To see the drama, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Yamuna Priya Devi Dasi, are you ready? Koi ten, koi ten. Happy Vyasa Puja! Happy birthday! Wish you can live as long as the Southern Mountain exists. Good day! Wish you have a happy birthday, and you can live as long as the existence of the Southern Mountain. Now we would like to present a drama. Oh, 
Dear Gurudev, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Please accept our humble obeisances. We would always follow your instructions. We would read the scriptures. Wish Gurudev happy birthday. <laughs> the host is requesting them to start. The song, the main meaning of the song is it's really good to have Gurudev. My brother, this body is full of ignorance. Somehow or other, we are fallen into this ocean of material sense gratification. Krishna is the supreme, supremely merciful. And he bestow us the food offered to him so we can glorify the Lord. And we are calling out with love. This is, this is, 
This is a story happened 500 years ago. In India, in West Bengal, in the land of piety, Lord Nityananda was born in the village of Echo Chakra. Lord Nityananda's appearance make everything auspicious. The Lord come to this material world in order to set an example for us how to serve Krishna. Lord Nityananda always also play dramas with his friends. Prabhu, I'm coming. Where is Nitai? Where is Nitai? Nitai, he's playing with his friends. They're making drama together. What happened? I'm always thinking of Nitai. Without seeing him, I'm feeling worried. I cannot tolerate even one moment without seeing him. I think they are enacting Krishna's pastimes. How Nitai understands so many things about the pastimes? That is our pastimes. Only by my permission you can see. Prabhu, please don't worry. Lord Nityananda Prabhu manifested 12 years of pastime in Echo Chakra. Then came one mendicant. Oh, Nitai, where have you been? When I'm not at home, you should not go anywhere. You cannot leave my eyesight. In this way, Lord Nityananda Prabhu exhibited 12 years of pastime. But when he was 13, there is one mendicant. That means a sannyasi. He is the 19th in the disciplic succession, and his name is Lakshmi Tirtha. He came to Lord Nityananda's house. He got nice reception from their house. Usually, the householders, the householders, they have no time to be engaged in spiritual activities. They're very busy in sense gratification and economic development. So I came here to give them an opportunity to enlighten them spiritually. Nitai, prepare the lunch. Please come, come. 
There is a sadhu came to our house. Immediately come. Abeisances. Push Pandali, immediately push Pandali. Been traveling for such a long time, dear Maharaj. Can we serve you prasadam now? Immediately bring the best prasadam and also put a lot of ghee. Please rinse your mouth and wash your hands. Very tasty. How long time you are going to perform? It's too long. <laughs> there are so many other devotees in other countries need to offer their homages. Maybe we're going to stop you. <laughs> Oh, 
This is a good opportunity for them to receive a transcendentalist and get his association. In this way, they can get a lot of mercy. So they should try their best to serve the sadhu. When the sadhu is satisfied with us, and then when the sannyas is leaving, the householder should give some charities. Dear Maharaj, we will stop the drama in two minutes, right? We will stop the drama in two minutes. 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 Maharaj, what desire do you have? How can we satisfy you? My house is your house. Whatever you like, you can take it. Anything you want, we can satisfy you. My desire is very simple. I have already everything I need. If possible, I need one assistant for my traveling. If you can give your son to me, then I would be very happy. This is the charity for you. My son, he wants our son. Dear Maharaj, please allow me to discuss with my wife. Maharaj, please take a rest. My dear, you have to know, you know that Nita is my life. Without him, I don't know how can I live. If you are not willing, I can, I can tell him. If you are not willing, I can. We should satisfy the sadhu. We should satisfy Krishna. He is a Krishna's devotee. We should give our son to the sadhu. Prabhu, you are the master of the house. Whatever decision you make, I am fully support. I am fully supporting you. Let me think. Let me bring some water for you. Time's up. Please finish. Because there is no time. We can't, we can't reach you by phone. Please finish. Hare Krishna, a round of applause for our devotees from China for the beautiful drama. Right. So now we will move on to um, the offerings by the senior leaders from the congregation. Right. So we will start with uh, His Grace Simeswara Prabhu from, from Kuala Lumpur. Um, he has a very urgent meeting and therefore he has actually moved on for the meeting. So I'll request Sudarshan Prabhu to, to present the offerings on his behalf. Sudarshan Prabhu, over to you please. Maharaj. 
much, Dandra pronounced to you. Uh, so I'm reading the offering on behalf of His Grace Simeshwara Prabhu. So this is what he wrote. Hare Krishna, uh, what can I say for 2.5 minutes? His Holiness Bhakti Vigna Vinash and Arshima Maharaj is very fiery in making sure we are strict in Krishna consciousness. He is very sweet in making sure we remain Krishna conscious. He is very kind and helping anyone in their difficulties. He is very free to meet and serve anyone. He is very strict himself and tries to make others strict as well, but is always forgiving if we are not strict ourselves. He shows by example and when in Thailand is out on book distribution and inspires others to do the same. He always comes to Malaysia and gives his association and takes full advantage of the open doors for preaching and never says no to any request. I have never heard him say no when requested to preach at any center, house or open programs. He lives by preaching and he loves speaking about Krishna. We in Malaysia thank Maharaj a lot a lot for giving us the association. He took a difficult country to manage and preach, Thailand, where many failed. But he has got the special mercy of Srila Prabhupada and Gauranga, and he succeeded to take over where things were left off and not that great, but built the Yatra and continues to build it nicely now that there are many Thai nationals also became devotees apart from the hundreds, thousands of Nepalis, Burmese and Indians. Prabhupada went west to preach against Mayavada and Sunyavada, and he also came to Thailand, but only managed to be in the airport. He took a shower and continued his journey, maybe much more. His Holiness Swami Bhakti Vigna Vinash Narasimha Maharaj is in Thailand, where there are about 350,000 monks and 64 million Buddhists, Sunyavadis. Actually speaking, he is the only monk, Krishna conscious monk, Prabhupada's mercy on him to preach in a Sunyavada zone. I always hanker to take his association. Thank you, Hare Krishna. So just to let you know, Guru Maharaj, Simeshwara Prabhu was there uh, uh, earlier itself because we slotted his time earlier. So, uh, but he really had to leave. So begging his apologies on his behalf. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Uh, can we have Maturanath Das, please, from Russia? Maturanath Prabhuji, can you please unmute yourself? Kasturi Mataji, is he uh, one of the participants right now? Yeah, he is. He is. Okay, then let's move on to Sri Vallabha Prabhu, Yatra leader from Damodar, Damodar Desh. Vallabha Prabhuji, can you please unmute yourself and turn on your camera? Okay, we'll move on to Radha Bhava Prabhu, Yatra leader, Shama Desh. Hare Krishna, Krishna Maharaj, Maharaj, please accept yes. my obligations to Lord's feet and all goes to His Divine Grace Prabhupada and to all His disciples. Uh, we are very fortunate to have your Divine Presence to the Zoom and I am taking the blessings of you for all of us at Shamadesh. Uh, His Holiness has been a great motivator for all the devotees world across. I personally had been fortunate to have His mercy way back in 1979 when His Holiness was in Jew. And uh, we always remember his great uh, mood of chanting in those days was so intense that he would sometimes sit in Prabhupada's quarters or at the corner of our uh, Nasimadev's uh, uh, Vigraha photo. And he would be chanting so intensely that, you know, we would never even disturb him, but we would be loud to hear him. He was also very uh, close to his oldest Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj in those days. And... Uh, he used to always uh, be distributing books or doing some seva. I, I never seen His Holiness uh, uh, relaxing for any time or even sitting down for a second. He is always uh, on the move, very, very uh, uh, cordial and very polite to even uh, uh, the most uh, junior devotee. 
Uh, in fact, uh, I remember when he came to my house here also, uh, one very new devotee uh, did Pranams to Maharaj and uh, of course we always expect Maharaj to just bless, but he himself did Pranams and that devotee was in tears. He said, why are you doing this Maharaj? And, you know, so uh, we have a personality here who is uh, so imbibed with Srila Prabhupada's uh, um, uh, humbleness and uh, he has rend, uh, and his holiness has done such wonderful work I mean, in such places like China and Thailand where the resistance is so much to change people with so much ground reality is so different from the other part of the world. So it's his purity and his determination to serve his divine grace, Prabhupada, that has really scored and uh, we really look upon his holiness and we pray that he remains in the best of health and uh, serve uh, Srila Prabhupada in more and more glorious ways. So thank you, Maharaj, for being such a wonderful person and uh, support for all of us in ISKCON worldwide. We always look upon you and uh, you are really uh, somebody who we feel that uh, we should always adore and follow. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mathura Nath Prabhuji, can you please? Uh, yeah, you're already muted. You're already unmuted. Please carry on. Matranath Prabhuji, we can't hear you. No, it's not working. So uh, I, I suggest we move on to Palaka Krishna Das Adhikari Prabhu, uh, Malaysia President for the Northern Region. And we will come back to you very, very shortly, Matranath Prabhuji. Kasturi Mataji, can you please unmute Palaka Krishna Das Prabhuji? Hare Krishna. Very honored. Present to you. Uh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Association. Come to Dallas. Come to Dallas. Yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. Mara. We 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 start 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 again and again and again. Then, ah, 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 Yes, Prabhupada. Maharaj, to come to the uh, Malaysia again and don't forget to come to the Alastra. We are eagerly waiting for you <laughs> and uh, your association. I think we first we, we meet in a uh, Potan Garden, maybe in 90s, 97, 98, something for uh, I invited your Radhyatra. That's the first time I met you in a uh, uh, planning center. That time you are not very well. You're still willing to come join you in our Radhi Yatra. Uh, from that, we are uh, always you eager to come to, always when you come to Alastra, in Malaysia, you always come to Alastra. Uh, yeah, that's your kindness and very happy. And also, I got the chances to glorify by this uh, Vyasa Puja. Uh, maybe Maharaj remember me and my family, you're very close to do our Alastars and my family. We take care also of my family members and Alastar members. Your kindness, your humbleness, you are, you are uh, carrying the devotees. We are very appreciated, we are happy. You are also one of the six guru. So I am very happy, Maharaj. Don't forget me and my family and our congress member. Thank you, Hare Krishna Maharaj. We are happy we are supporting you. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Thank you very much, Palaka Krishna Prabhuji. Um, can we have Sri Vallabh Prabhu? Once again, uh, we tried calling you uh, moments ago. Can you unmute yourself and turn on your camera, please? Maharaj, 
Mr. Srivala Bhir from Damodadesh. We have been very, very fortunate to have your association so many years, and not only your personal presence, also your association in terms of so many other visits, and even now during the lockdown period, uh, visiting us and giving us lecture as early as last week. And I thank you. You've not only guided your disciples, you've been a Siksha Guru for most of us here in Damodadesh. We are always inspired and touched by your mercy, your humility, your very simple way of life, and that has attracted us in serving Shil Prabhupada's mission more. We look forward and we pray to Sri Sri Radha Madha for a very long longevity of your life, as well as serving Shil Prabhupada's moment, and for us to be blessed to be able to offer service to you, uh, dear Maharaj, and to all the devotees guided by you. Thank you very much, Maharaj. Thank you very much, Sri Baba Prabhu. Very kind. Hare Krishna, Mathura Nath Prabhuji. Would you Hare like to try? Krishna. Yes, it's working now. Oh, Please Lord. proceed. Hare Krishna, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Your Holiness, dear Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Let me thank you for your example of sincere, consistent, and diligent service of uh, in mission of your spiritual master, founder, Acharya, and Shiksha Guru for the entire society for Krishna consciousness. His divine grace, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Your example inspired me by its purity, simplicity, and steadiness, and I want to continue following to your footsteps. Let me thank you for your disciples who are reflect your qualities. They are very sincerely and consistently trying to serve other Vaishnavas, even if it needs many efforts. Looking to your disciples, I become also sincere and consistent. Let me also thank you for your special attention to our city and region. More than 10 years you give lectures, seminars to us, engage us in singing kirtans and bhajans and dancing in front of the deities. Certainly it helps us to make advance on the path of devotional service. We, we learn Vaishnava qualities in Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and Shikshastaka. It should be developed in order to, the, to be able to earn the mercy of Krishna and the Vaishnavas. So we try to do this in terms of our experience and our ideas about these qualities. We try to cultivate humility, patience, reverence as much as we can. And when we get opportunity to see and feel the manifestation of these qualities in uh, association, it becomes true education. Thank you for this opportunity. Let me wish you good health and more diligent, patient and sincere disciples. Let they will accept transcendental knowledge with, which you transmit and will spread it throughout the world. Thank you very much and accept my humble, my humble obeisance to your Lord, your, your, your servant, Arnad Das, in Russia. Thank you very much, Matrana Das. Um, Adri Dharana Prabhuji, over to you. Dear Guru Maharaj, on behalf, on behalf Russia. I sincerely thank you for your mercy, nectar of spiritual knowledge and care for each of us. Thank you for your personal attention to each and every devotee. Your quality is Karunika. In Russia, 18 years, you have been continued the work started by Srila Prabhupada. In your preaching, you show how to apply Krishna consciousness and find positive spiritual alternative to a meaningless life. On public programs in Russia, you always leave a positive impression of yourself and spiritual message. It's changed people's heart. Thank you for your example of good relation and respect to mundane people whom you preach. You're a real gentleman. Thank you for your strictness towards yourself and for your indulgence toward others. 
in any situations you firmly and uncompromisingly take Shila Prabhupada's instruction as a basis. At the same time, you accept the disciples' imperfections and give that strength and time to correct our mistakes. You call it istitikshara. But you always remind us that we saved by our founder Acharya, his divine grace, Shila Prabhupada. And you always teach us that our highest debt is to help spiritual master in his service to Shila Prabhupada's preaching field. Thus, our life will be sublime. Your spiritual qualities and example of faithfulness to Srila Prabhupada firms our determination to follow his instructions and in his footsteps. We offer our bodies and mind to you, Guru Maharaj, and this is our most fortune. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, uh, Adri Dharana Prabhuji, for a wonderful, heart-touching message. I would now request Archana Devi Dasi um, to present her offering on behalf of the Thai and Myanmar congregation. Archana Devi Dasi Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you for this opportunity, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, good day. Please accept my humble obeisances to your lotus figure much. I like to offer some flowers to you. <laughs> <laughs> all glories to you, Sir Prabhupada, all glories to you on this auspicious day of your Vyasa Puja. First of all, I would like to thank you for accepting this insignificant soul under the shelter of your lotus feet. I got initiation in 2010 when I was 15 years old. I was very young at that time. I was immature, but I was quite sincere. When the time uh, go by, then I have grown up and by the country that I stay, I have uh, also tried to enjoy this world very much by forgotten the main object of bhakti. Oh, my eternal spiritual master, by seeing your devotion towards Sila Prabhupada and Krishna, this has really inspired me. Every time I have your association, it gives me strength to do good in my spiritual life. By seeing you, do, the desire to enjoy this world disappear. Dear Gurudev, I feel forever in debt to your costless mercy. Now, every week, I will be waiting for Wednesday to come so that we will get to hear the nectar of Krishna Leela from you through Zoom. I want to be serious in your service, Gurudev. I beg for your mercy that I can have taste in chanting the holy name and to serve the Vaishnava with a humble mood. For me, you are the manifestation representation of the Godhead. I would like to ask for your forgiveness for the offenses that I, I have committed in the part of devotional service. I pray to Lord Narsingha Dev every day for your protection and for your good health. I have made some cake for you, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Guru Dev. And I have few devotees with me here. We really miss you, Guru Dev, And we try to organize some more program next year. Thank you very much, Archana Mataji. Thank you very much. Uh, Jay Narayan Prabhuji, can you please unmute yourself and be on camera too for your offering? Hare Krishna Maharaj, kindly accept my humble obeisances and your lotus feet, Maharaj, on this auspicious uh, Vyas Puja celebrations. Uh, so it is great fortune and I really thank devotees for uh, giving me this opportunity to glorify you, although I have no qualification to do that. Um, so Maharaj, uh, so we, we hear uh, one time Srila Prabhupada was asked to tell about uh, His Holiness Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Maharaj and Prabhupada said that uh, what can I say about him? He is a Vakuntha man and uh, Maharaj so many devotees in this moment, they all feel that 
uh, your wonderful qualities are actually that of a Vakuntha man. And what can we glorify about your wonderful qualities? You, you have those wonderful qualities which, can, which has attracted people from all across the world to take shelter of Srila Prabhupada. Maharaj, your attraction to Srila Prabhupada is so strong that we, in every lecture of yours, you will give some very beautiful examples of Srila Prabhupada and which makes feel, uh, make us feel connected to Srila Prabhupada. And when we ask about your, your interaction with Srila Prabhupada, you always take a uh, very humble position and you always say that I don't, did not have much interaction with Srila Prabhupada, but you're always uh, uh, Srila Prabhupada man and you are always encouraging devotees to strengthen their relationship with Srila Prabhupada. And Maharaj, so this is really so inspiring for all of us. And Maharaj, you have so much atta attachment to the holy names. We see you chanting the holy name, every word discreetly, every word so clearly. And your chanting, uh, just by seeing you chant so attentively, it gives also us some inspiration to chant nicely. And Maharaj, you are a perfect example of Trinadapi Sunichena. This is a dream of so many devotees to become humble, but that is a extraordinary and overwhelming quality of yours, which is touching the heart of every devotee. You are respecting everyone. You are respecting your God brothers. You are even respecting your devotees, your disciples, even your servants. We have seen you so many times, Maharaj. Even you are offering them obeisances. You are offering obeisances to your disciples and servants. And this is really uh, this is really sometimes puts the devotees into difficulty. And when it comes to God brothers, you are always giving them a superior position. You treat them as your spiritual masters. You always uh, let them speak first. Just like we also saw just now, Subha Subhag Maharaj came and you welcomed him. And then you said, Maharaj, you would like to speak. So this is so natural in you that you always want to, you know, respect everyone. And Maharaj, uh, you always talk. Uh, whatever you talk, you actually walk that. Um, you have absolutely no attachment to any facilities. Um, I can just share one example quickly with devotees. One time after Mayapur Yatra, Navdi Parikama, you were packing up your luggage and uh, you told me just to keep two, or th two sets of dhoti kurta. And uh, I was selecting, I, I took the best of the two and tried to keep them in your bag. But when you looked at it, that I have kept the best one, you immediately told me to uh, take them out. You took those best clothes and distributed to other sannyasis and you kept something very simple for yourself Maharaj. So, so that was so heart touching that uh, and in fact once I heard that a disciple of yours he, he brought a sleepers for himself and which was, was not fitting well for him and I, I heard that Maharaj you, 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 you chose to use those sleepers which disciple brought for himself because he was not using it. So as a pure devotee spiritual master, your position is as a confidential servant of Krishna is so special and it is at absolute level, but you are coming down to encourage us and whatever condition of life we may come in, you accept us so lovingly. So we can't uh, count of our good fortune. And I think this is the most special gift that the Lord has given us in our life. That is your association. So thank you so much Maharaj for accepting us despite all uh, my mistakes. And, yes, and thank you Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you very much, Jay Narayan Prabhu, on behalf of the Indian Yatra. Um, I'll now request Yogita Radha Mataji to speak on behalf of the Hong Kong and Taiwan devotees, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prabhu. My humble obeisances, Gurudev, please accept my humble obeisances. All Gurus, Sushila Prabhupada, you Gurudeva, and Goranga Chai. Gurudev, the efforts that you have put into preaching into Taiwan and Hong Kong, it's just no words. You went ahead first to learn our language. That's Mandarin, mother tongue for Taiwan and uh, for Hong Kong. You also, you, you learn to preach to them. Imagine they don't speak the language English, but book distribution is so important that you really truly want to just fulfill Srila Prabhupada's wishes and make him happy. And you went out alone in Taiwan. Even if you have to do book distribution, you walk out alone, Gurudev. No congregation, nothing had been made as yet. You walked out alone on the roads doing book distribution. It's just really, you showed literally how important it is. And then um, in Taiwan, you also go ahead and give lectures, 
classes at the yoga centers and you keep good association with the buddhist groups as well where uh, devotees have been performing sankirtanas just as they did last week all thanks to you gurudev they're actually blending out into different groups and delivering the lord's name between everybody govinda really your mercy gurudev even in hong kong whenever you're here gurudev every morning you give the shrimad bhagavatam classes and in fact you told us how important it is to read shrimad bhagavatam even if nobody's there she she going to die there shila prabhupad is sitting right there you have to read to them they will be so happy to hear the glories of the lord govinda you really and then also for gurudev when you 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 always go for harinam and you have always stressed on how important association is and you've shown it to us gurudev you are certainly a very exemplary person you are someone who walks the talk of your life that is what you do gurudev everything you have to, taught us everything you have said you actually walk that part in the life and you show it to us really gurudev Barambar pranam Gurudev, totally my pronouns. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you so very, very much. Very much. Thank you very much, Yogita Radha Mataji. Uh, I'll now request Narsinga Chaitanya Prabhuji on behalf of the Nepal Yatra. I, I, I was seeing a big group of Nepali devotees behind you just now. So requesting you to unmute yourself and turn the camera on, please. Thank you. Hi, Krishna so please kindly accept our prayers from Nepal. Uh, and one thing that really touched me about Guru Maharaj is uh, he has so much of love for Sri Prabhupada and for the Krishna that in any age of any like any age group of devotees when they comes in his contact they feel so much of love. Like for me, for an example, I met Guru Maharaj when I was just like 17 or 18 years old. I was doing Bhakti Sastri that time in Mayapur. I saw him first time over there and I was already uh, in Mayapur for two, three months and I was uh, missing my home. I was missing my Mara. I, I'm sorry, I was missing my parents. And, uh, and first time I saw Guru Maharaj, he, was, he took our lectures for nature of instruction. I was really touched. I felt that, that something was there. And after class, I went to Maharaj and I had some questions. So he gave me 10 minutes of his life that time. And in that 10 minutes, I expressed everything about the question and my attachments and my missing of my homes and everything. And Guru Maharaj, in that 10 minutes, he laughed and laughed and he gave me so much of love and so much of relationship. And he said, oh, yeah, you know, I can understand. I was also, you know, very young when I came to Krishna consciousness. He gave me so much of love. I feel like so touched that time that like this is it, you know, then after that time, since till late, you know, all the love and affection Guru Maharaj is pouring to all the devotees. And like me, it's like whenever I feel low or some difficulties in my life, I just close my eyes and just remember Guru Maharaj. And like, I feel there is somebody who really loves me, like without any condition, without, you know, merciless, like causelessly he is giving his mercy. And like, it's always give me that inspiration to move me and to continue my services over here that, Guru Maharaj, he's never tired. He's always active. He's always available for the devotees. He's very, you know, he's uncompromisingly, he's doing Mangala uh, like devotees are yeah, yeah. he's chanting and all the services. And whenever I feel low, I just close my eyes and remember Gurudev. And that gives me inspiration to move on, to, to carry on with my services over here. And thank you so much, Gurudev, for uh, becoming that representative of Krishna to us. And, and giving us that us love and affection that is uh, that has kept us moving in this Krishna consciousness. Thank you, Gurudev. And we have a special cake, Gurudev, by devotees as an offering to you. And also at the same time, we have devotees where you can kindly bless us so that we can uh, really uh, make little difference, we can little assist in this glorious mission of Sri Prabhupada. So we have cake over here, Gurudev. So please kindly accept it. So made by devotees and all these devotees over here, Gurudev. So please kindly bless us, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all the devotees. Thank you, Prabhupada, for organizing uh, this uh, wonderful festival. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please bless us. Thank you very much.
uh, Yatra from Nepal and Narsingha Chaitanya Prabhu. Um, we have a short video clip um, from the family of Sridham Prabhu. Sridham Prabhu is Guru Dev's first disciple, so it's a short two-minute video. Um, I'm going to play it right now. Krishna, dear Gurudev, please accept our humble obeisances, all glory to Shri Prabhupada and your divine grace. Gurudev, today I would like to share a few words on behalf of our family and especially my parents, Sri Dham Prabhu, who recently left his body, and my mother, Tulsi Devi Dasi. They fondly remember the times in Taiwan when you introduced them to Krishna consciousness. You personally taught my father how to chant using the Japa beads. And I also remember how you taught us every song from the Vaishnava song book. Thank you so much for planting the seed of Krishna consciousness in my father's heart especially and encouraging and guiding us all the way since then. Um, my sister and I especially thank you as well for always being there for us from the times we were in school, college, university, and just after that. Uh, thank you so much for your mercy, compassion, kindness, and patience, um, and the time um, that you've um, you know, spent in guiding us and making sure that uh, you, know, you give us very practical and very simple instructions, that's something that we're able to follow and uh, keep, that keeps us in Krishna consciousness. Thank you so much, Gurudev. Wishing you a very happy Vyasa Puja. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. I know you've had plenty of thank yous today, but one more from me. Uh, thank you so much for showering us with uh, unlimited mercy and compassion for planting the seed of bhakti in Sri Dham Prabhu's heart and Tulsi Mataji as well and, and their family. Uh, without them and without you, Maharaj, uh, my path in bhakti would not manifest. Um, I have so much to share, uh, but a little uh, snippet of Maharaja's mercy can be seen when uh, you used to very patiently explain to me every single question out of my list with reference to the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, that is something which I cherish and hold very dear to my heart and um, what is our organization? that a disciple gets with his spiritual master. Thank you so much and wishing you a wonderful and very happy Vyasa Puja Day. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shravaniya Vishnu Charan. Vishnu Charan. Thank you very much, Shravaniya Mataji and Prabhu. We will now move on to um, Gurudev's disciples. We will start with uh, Vaishnava, Vaishnavi Vani Devi Dasi from Switzerland. Mataji, can you please unmute yourself? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Prabhupada. Uh, I offer this uh, flower at your lotus feet. Uh, my name is Vaishnavi Vani. I'm living in Geneva, Switzerland. I met Guru Maharaj in Bangkok in 2011 in a house program. At that time, I don't know anything about ISKCON or Hare Krishna Mantra. One devotee suggested me that I go to Guru Maharaj and take the chanting beads from him. Uh, Guru Maharaj asked me if I'm a vegetarian and he asked me to uh, take a O to chant one round of Hare Krishna Mantra every day. So I came back home and I started chanting one round every day. And the simple chanting and following Guru Maharaj's instruction, it changed my life. One, uh, one moment association of a pure devotee can change one's life. And Guru Maharaj has been very kind to me and uh, he has been uh, giving an expert, uh, he's been giving uh, very kindly in many in, uh, instructions and uh, guidance on many things. And I wanted to specially thank Guru Maharaj for the amazing online classes from Bhagavad Gita to Brihad Bhagavatam. It's so interesting that we just wait to hear his classes every week. And he's been very kind to answer patiently all the questions addressed by the devotees on this auspicious day. Uh, I request Guru Maharaj to kindly bless me that I became very humble and I beg Guru Maharaj to accept me in his service eternally. 
and i am wishing guru maharaj and praying for guru maharaj for a very long healthy life thank you guru maharaj hari krishna thank you very much uh, vaishnavi vani devi dasi mataji uh, can i request nand kishor prabhu ji from dubai to please unmute yourself and turn on your camera hari krishna hari krishna please accept my humble obeisances guru maharaj all glories to shila prabhupad uh, uh, we are very fortunate to uh, take part in this online auspicious vas puja ceremony guru maharaj it's been by your mercy that uh, we have been able to get involved into krishna consciousness uh, every time you visit here guru maharaj we experience and learn a lot of qualities guru maharaj uh, your humility whenever uh, guru maharaj any other visiting devotees also visit damodar desh and they come to know that you visit here and that uh, you are our initiating spiritual master the first thing every devotee says is the very striking humility in you guru maharaj and your compassion has no bounds often you travel guru maharaj four to five six programs even in a day and next day again you are ready to do the same programs with full zeal and enthusiasm even giving time to uh, uh, meet devotees personally to discuss issues they face in their spiritual life guru maharaj you make time for one and all uh, that is really startling and all devotees appreciate this Uh, a remarkable factor about your compassion guru maharaj uh, many uh, many a times guru maharaj uh, we see the unshakable uh, service attitude towards shila prabhupad guru maharaj which inspires us that also some day we can uh, be unshakable in our service to you guru maharaj and how you always uh, uh, give us uh, uh, often very simple one line statements which are very guiding uh, force in our spiritual life Uh, such as many times you tell us guru maharaj not to get too overwhelmed with material life and in this way you keep us encouraged to move on uh, despite whatever come may be the material situation to be always fixed in devotional service guru maharaj uh, by by spending uh, any amount of time with you guru maharaj we always feel spiritually fully surcharged and also see that there is not a single moment uh not spent in krishna consciousness which you teach us guru maharaj and uh, so on this day guru maharaj we would like to pray to lord narsimha dev for your good health and uh, long life in krishna consciousness we all need you uh, amongst us guru maharaj to be able to guide us and many more in this uh, divine journey of krishna consciousness with this prayers uh, we wish you a very uh, happy व्यास पूजा महोत्सव कोटी कोटी प्रणाम सकें गुरु महाराज एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स हिज ग्रेस पद्म लोकन प्रभु एंड मेनी मोर हु हैव मेड दिस हिज ग्रेस पद्म नयन प्रभु एंड मेनी मोर हु हैव मेड दिस ऑनलाइन व्यास पूजा पॉसिबल थैंक यू वेरी मच हरि कृष्ण हरि कृष्ण थैंक यू वेरी मच नंद किशोर प्रभु जी आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट लीलावती देवी दासी फ्रॉम थाईलैंड टू प्लीज अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ and the rest of you can you please mute your your mics please because uh, it's causing a little bit of a distortion thank you very much dilavati devi dasi are you there she has left prabhu just okay so we'll move on to ananta roop das and uh, raja surya prabhu ji from thailand hare krishna please assume my humble obeisance all glory to shri prabhupad so i am speaking on behalf of the krabi devotee is gone krabi south in thailand and we are very fortunate to have your association your guidance because whenever we see you or whenever we hear your lecture we get very inspired we get very inspired and many devotee they are truly love you so much they um, some of my friends they are not even my god brother they say that whenever uh whenever you come to to their place they feel like you are their father 
they said when i meet my own guru maharaj i'm not so happy but when i see rashinga maharaj i'm very happy and i feel like he is my real spiritual uh, teacher so they call you flying like this so they all love you especially in thailand devotee of course all devotee love you and you have preached here for so many years and thailand is somehow there is getting more devotee more temple in phuket also recently the temple is just ready and of course in krabi we don't have temple yet but with the blessing and i hope um, in the future we can build a one temple for propat and we hope that we can distribute a lot of shila propat books in the near future in thailand and they will be a lot of thai devotees so please bless us i know you already blessed but please give a more blessing so that we can do something for thai people in thailand thank you very much hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ji thank you very much can we have dharmaraj prabhu from thailand please kindly unmute yourself and turn on your camera Okay, we will move on. Um, from India, can we have Krishna Kirtana Das, please? Krishna Kirtana Prabhu, can you please turn on your camera? Hello. Yes. I'm audible, Prabhuji. Am I audible, Prabhuji? Yes, you are, Prabhuji. Can the rest please mute yourself? Prabhuji, please carry on. Please accept my humble obeisances, all Guruji Shri Shila Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, uh, first of all, I would uh, like to thank you for accepting us as uh, your disciples. You may not, may not be that qualified. Guru Dev, uh, your dedication to Shila Prabhupada and his mission is quite exceptional. You are following each and every instruction of Prabhupada in completeness. As mentioned in uh, Upanishad, Swetishwar Upanishad, Yasa Deve Para Bhaktir. This quality of your complete surrender is our cause or our hope to getting the ticket to Lord's abode. It is not, if we do follow the path sincerely and persistently, yeah, as in, Shil in Srimad Bhagatam, it is also said. That just by patiently, uh, if we follow the path of spiritual life, the wealth of spirituality is waiting for us. We need to be sincere on that path. So I beg your mercy to be on this path with the uh, stern faith in Krishna and Guru Parampara. Your humility, Guru Maharaj, is uh, to your spiritual master, uh, dedication to him is so strong that it attracts each and every one. You are being a true disciple of Srila Prabhupada, proficiently carry the responsibility of genuine disciple to take up the, the war against Maya and also equipping us with it. I hope one day we will qualify to imbibe this, your quality, this, is, this of your quality. To my great fortune, I had a chance to associate with you on various occasions. And even with this small brain, I could understand your uh, sincere concerns towards each and every one who comes in contact of yours. Yep. So even when they themselves are unwilling or disinterested to achieve your kindness, but still you wholeheartedly give your mercy to each and every one who comes in your association. This is truly the spirit of Lord Nityananda and his mission. Gurudev, during this time of world crisis, we pray to Sri Sri Radha Madan Gopalji, the, the presiding duties in Nasik, to give you the best of the health and carry on with your amazing self-like preaching mission and bless the whole world with your abundant mercy. Please accept our Thank you very much, Krishna Kirtana Prabhu. Can we have uh... We'll be, go back, we'll be going back, we'll be flying back to Thailand. So can we have Dharmaraj Prabhu once again? Dharmaraj Prabhu, 
I'm going to spotlight you. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada, Guru Dev. Uh, sorry, uh, I was uh, cooking. Today uh, we are doing Food for Life, for, you know, dedicated to Guru Maharaj. This is why, you know, I was, you know, it's been a bit late. This is why, okay. So, uh, uh, mine is, uh, you know, like a little bit uh, different. Um, year 2000, I went to London and uh, around Oxford Street, and I made one Brahmachari. One, but one Brahmachari stopped me, and he gave me a book, and he showed me the temple. And then uh, I went to the temple, and I took London Ishwara, Jagannath Baladev Subhadra, and then a uh, Purupat. You know, Purupat so attracted to me, and I took the picture and I bring back to Thailand. When I got back to Thailand, you know, I went to Photoshop, and then I made like 60 by 80 the big one, and I put it on uh, our demigod altar. Then uh, after that, after that, I start seeing, because Prabhupada already in my house in Pattaya, like Sin City, Pattaya. So after that, uh, I start seeing um, uh, the uh, uh, like, uh, Hare Krishna devotee. Then uh, 2000, uh, in the year 2002, I went to uh, uh, Malaysia. Then uh, when I went back, from restaurant to the hotel in Jalal Ampang, you know, I met one again, Brahmachari, and he stopped me and he gave me a book. And then I gave him my business card and then a business card and some donation. Then I told him that whenever you come to Thailand, please visit me. So that card, he passed it to my Guru Maharaj. All right. So then, uh, then Guru Maharaj, uh, you know, uh, uh, he tried to visit Pattaya so many times and because of my business, you know, I always, uh, you know, go abroad. So, you know, we don't meet, you know, we could not meet each other. So then uh, finally, uh, 2005, Guru Maharaj came to my house and stay a week in my house. Then, uh, you know, when he woke up around like three o'clock, you know, till uh, he do his sadhana, seven, eight. Prabhuji, ten, 10 more seconds, Prabhuji. Sorry. 10 more seconds. <laughs> too long. Oh, too long? Oh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, and uh, and uh, and uh, doing uh, doing his stay, you know, he showed so much mercy and uh, enlightened us. And in 2006, you know, we uh, I became a vegetarian, and uh, we took shelter from Guru Dev on 2007 in his con Phuket, and we took initiation from Guru Dev 2008. And Guru Dev wished to was Ratyatra in Pattaya, but in 2010, Guru Dev costly mercy. We had a first uh, first Ratyatra in Pattaya city, the same city as I told you earlier. And now we have a uh, Iskan Patria in temple, all you know, and uh, we are very much grateful and very much very fortunate to be your disciple, Guru Maharaj. And we are so thankful for everything you have been doing for us and for Iskan Thailand, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Please bless us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dharmaraj Prabhuji. Um, I will now request Sundarangi Devi Dasi Mataji and uh, for the rest of you, can you please limit it to a maximum of 1 minute and 30 seconds please because you know we are already very very late. Thank you very much. Sundarangini Mataji, can you please unmute yourself and turn on your camera? Okay, we will move on to Pran Priya Devi Dasi Mataji from India. Prabhu, uh, she has to go for a meeting. She's currently unaware. Yeah. Okay, so can we move on to Padmanabha Prabhuji from India? Prabhuji, Sundarangi Mataji was trying to speak. I don't know if she can speak again. Okay, can you please? Yeah. Kesha, Prabhu, we can't hear. Sundarangi Mataji, we can't hear you, although you're speaking. Can you disconnect and connect again? Okay, so we will move on. Uh, we are now moving on to Taiwan. Can we have Nirguna Das Prabhuji and Tunga Vidya Devi Dasi Mataji, please? Okay. Since we're not able to... 
sân người thầy là Hare Krishna Maharaji Mình tại Thái Loan Thằng Anh sẽ Chúc phụ nữ thì Sâu bị nán sang Sân người thầy là 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 highest obeisance to you and all glories to you, Srila Papa. If we feel very thank you for, uh, for having the opportunity to associate with you and can have shelter on your lotus feet. And uh, it's also our, it's also want to thank you for your mercy to give us the, the knowledge of Christian consciousness uh, because, you are, uh, because your mercy can let us uh, have the spiritual knowledge and I wish you all well in my apple and wish you have the good health. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Yes. Can we audible? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Can we hear now, Sundarangi Mataji? Please speak. Hare Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisance to your Lord of the Guru. Okay, to Sila Prabhupada. As her mother tongue is Thai, so I speak on her behalf, her glorification. Please accept my most humble obeisances at your Lotus Feet Guru Maharaj. It is the duty of a disciple to glorify his spiritual master every day every hour, every minute, every second, every moment of their life. On this very auspicious day of your appearance day, it is my small attempt to genuinely glorify and express my gratitude to you for my own purification. As one can't count the waves in the ocean, similarly, you are the ocean of good qualities, which an ordinary person like me, who is struggling with own mind and senses, can't appreciate it due to my material conditioning. But I know Vaishnavas by nature are very merciful to a neophyte and by your mercy this small effort can be successful. I feel very fortunate and blessed to glorify my eternal spiritual father. Gurudev, you are full of compassion and mercy. Your concern for the spiritual well-being of each one of us is simply incomparable. Like that, when the temple opening of Phuket was there, we all, all are there to celebrate this occasion. We are very late for our return journey and we don't told to Maharaj that we are returning from there. So Maharaj, when he know, Maharaj specially came and asked from us, Oh, you are now returning. How you like the program? Is everything okay? You took prasadam. Everything small, small detail Maharaj asked from us. This shows Maharaj so much love and concern. And, and Guru Maharaj didn't waste even single penny of Prabhupada in his own service. When someone gave donation to travel by taxi or for anything, so Guru Maharaj didn't travel in taxi. Maharaj preferred to travel in bus to just save the Lakshmi of Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj by his own example, Maharaj is so humble and caring. Maharaj has so many innumerable qualities, but there is limited time and everyone wants to glorify Guru Maharaj. So I stop here and I pray to Lord Narsimha Dev that he best, bestow long life and good health to Guru Maharaj, so that Maharaj delivers so many conditioned souls like me. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for accepting me as your spiritual daughter. I am really grateful to you, Guru Maharaj. Please always bestow causeless mercy upon me. I am very fallen, Maharaj. Guru Maharaj ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Thank you very much, Prabhuji and Mataji. Can we have Krishna Bhavana Mataji from Taiwan, please? Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, it's so inspiring to see so many of my God sisters and God brothers um, glorifying you today. I'm very touched. And uh, on this auspicious day of your appearance, I would like to say I'm so fortunate that uh, you gave me your mercy so many years ago and your instructions. And also that I admire so much your simplicity, your purity and your humility. In your lecture today, you said that 
you are uh, so concerned about the people who are suffering in this material world and uh, and i feel that concern too so please give your blessings so that uh, along with tunga vidya nirguna shilpa we can also uh, increase the preaching in taiwan to reach out to the suffering souls and hope also that you can come soon to taiwan so we can serve you and uh, i pray to nursing hadev to give you good health so you can continue to um, give your blessings to the whole world. And uh, thank you to all the organizers of this Zoom meeting. Thank you so much. Jashila Guru Maharaj, Jashila Prabhupada. Thank you very much, Shilpa Shyam Mata, uh, Krishna Bhavana Mataji. Can we have Shilpa Shyam Mataji from Taiwan next, please? Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to Shila Prabhupada. I'm so happy to be here to attend this Vyasa Puja ceremony. I'm so grateful to all the devotees who have organized it, and I'm so happy to see you, Guru Maharaj. We really miss you. And um, I'm so touched by hearing all all the dis all your disciples are speaking so so much about you and it makes me feel that you're so personal with each and every one of us and you're so busy in spite of that you have given so much love to me personally and to my family and guided guided me personally in every little thing and i feel so fortunate you're just too kind guru maharaj i don't have words to say that and Really, really miss you. Really miss you a lot. I hope you can come soon. And yes, as always, I pray to Lord Nishinga Dev to protect you. And thank you so much for your mercy. I'm, I'm grateful to Krishna that he gave me a spiritual master. As well. Thank you very much. Hari Bol, Shilpa Sham Devi Mataji, thank you very much. We will now move on to Malaysia, where we have Gurudev's uh, senior disciple, Dwarka Desh Prabhuji. Dwarka Desh Prabhuji, can you please unmute yourself and turn on the camera? Kasturi Mataji, can you please uh, spotlight Prabhuji? Prabhuji, we can't hear you. Somehow your audio is not clear. Maybe your microphone is not working, Prabhuji, because you are unmuted. So, uh, can you try again? Yes. Yeah. No, we can't hear you. So, maybe while, while you switch on, uh, while you reset your system, we'll just move on to the next person, Prabhuji. Is it alright? Thank you very much, Prabhuji. So, can we have Satya Vrata, Prabhuji, please, from Malaysia? Satya Vrata Prabhu, can you please unmute yourself and turn on your camera? Okay, we will move on to Kamalakshi Devi Dasi from Malaysia. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, dear Guru Maharaj. Please accept our humble obeisance unto Guru Maharaj Lotus Feet. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Happy Appearance Day and we are happy Vyasa Puja, Guru Maharaj. We are very fortunate to have the opportunity to glorify Guru Maharaj on this auspicious day. We are very fortunate, firstly, due to Guru Maharaj entering in our life and heart. Guru Maharaj is very merciful, just like Lord Nityananda. But we Guru Maharaj's most fallen children have no qualification to serve Guru Maharaj. But still Guru Maharaj is so merciful and giving us the blessing to serve Guru Maharaj with utmost love. We would like to express our deep thankful for, for the service opportunity that Guru Maharaj so kindly gave, gave us. And we are trying our best to serve Guru Maharaj with sincerely. We have not met a person who has been so kind okay, and has you. cared for us. Please save us from all the traps of Maya. We have no ability to ability and no words to express Guru Maharaj's glories with our sinful mind, 
but with Guru Maharaj blessing as ocean of mercy, we can over, overcome all the problems in our life. We thank, we thank you, Guru Maharaj, for showing such mercy towards us. For thousands times, we thank, thank you, our dearest Guru Maharaj, with our deepest heart, and we want offer a lot of love again and again, and we bow to Guru Maharaj's lotus feet with great respect, and we always pray to Lord Narasimha Dev to take care and best of Guru, good health and very long life for Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, last but not least, only or not only, if we did any mistakes, please forgive us, Guru Maharaj. We love Guru Maharaj very much. Once again, happy. Happy, happy Vyasa Puja, yeah. Guru Maharaj Ki Jai. Yeah. Guru Maharaj, we just offer one cake for Guru Maharaj that, that uh, Roshni Naidu, my daughter, do for Guru Maharaj. Hari Bo. Thank you very much, Mataji. We will move on to Dwarka Desh Prabhu Ji. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Dwarka Desh Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu, can you hear me? Yes, Hare Krishna, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Prabhu Ji. Okay, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Atveda Gadagara Suvasari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Maharaj due to the limited time 1.5 minutes I could run fast on this uh, whatever I know I just want to share my services what I'm doing in Penang Please accept, accept our humble obeisance of Guru Maharaj at your lotus feet Guru Maharaj GCS yes, Vyasa Puja is extraordinary we are associating with Guru Maharaj on virtually on online celebration. Thanks for all the organizations, organi organizers. Sita Sundri and I wish to like to convey our art utmost heartfelt gratitude for accepting us as your disciples and continue giving us guidance and shelter at all time. We are almost about 21 years with uh, Guru Maharaj under Guru Maharaj shelter and guidance. Due to coronavirus, all of us are isolated in one place, cannot move along. Currently, I'm attached to Iskon Penang. We cannot go to Butterworth because of the coronavirus. So we have one Pujari, Mayapur. There is no more Pujaris from Mayapur. The local Pujari is uh, Manipushan Prabhu. So I take a permanent service, Pujari service, on Sunday to continue at, uh, at uh, Penang uh, Temple. Guru Maharaj, Chita Sunti and I are very fortunate enough to come into contact with uh, Your Holiness to reform our entire material life completely through your instruction and guidance and providing us the opportunity to go back to Godfrey. Although it is our initial desire, but most of the most important aspect in our life is to serve Guru Maharaj and my wife together, birth after birth. Again, Guru Maharaj, we are praying to Lord Narasimha Dev, Radha Madhava, Jagannath, Baladev, Subhatra, and Panchatattva for their Lordship's mercy and protection upon Guru Maharaj during traveling and preaching, especially during this, this most difficult situation in the world now. So Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you very much, your humble servant, Lord Pati Dasa and Sita Sri Devi Dasa. Hare Krishna. Hare. Thank you very much, Prabhuji. Can we have uh, Sri Devi Gorangi Devi Dasi from Kuala Lumpur, please? Hare Krishna, Sri Rajin Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Srila Guru Maharaj. This insignificant humble servant offers Srila Guru Maharaj a very glorious, auspicious, happy 72nd Sri, Lila, Sri Vyasa Puja 2021. I'm grateful and happy that devotees from all over the world are offering their heartfelt glorification of prayers, love, gratitude, and homages to Srila Guru Maharaj on the occasion of the auspicious Vyasa Puja 2021. I would like to offer my gratitude to Srila Guru Maharaj for your preaching of the transcendental names of the Lord. Although Srila Guru Maharaj is not able to travel due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, Srila Guru Maharaj is fully utilizing your time to conduct daily online classes, which are so mesmerizing, always invoking bhakti in our hearts. I enjoy the question and answer sessions, which are lively. Srila Guru Maharaj listens very intently and provides answers which are practical and beneficial even for beginners. Srila Guru Maharaj is doing a great spiritual service by preaching ex extensively and intensively in his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada's Krishna consciousness movement to fallen souls like us during this COVID-19 pandemic times. The most fortunate thing that has come out of this pandemic is that 
we get much more opportunities to have Srila Guru Maharaj's Pani and Vaku Association in amazing online classes. More second. This humble soul is sure that his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada, is so beautiful all of Srila Guru Maharaj's endeavors to preach Krishna Bhakti all over the world. Srila Guru Maharaj is leading by example, demonstrating daily how important it is to hear, chant, and carry out devotional service. I feel reassured when I clarify with Srila Guru Maharaj on devotional, personal, and work matters too. I humbly seek the love, care, and protection of Srila Guru Maharaj. On one occasion, Srila Guru Maharaj assured me with the following words, however, by the grace of Lord Krishna and his devotees, you are pulling through. I can only hope that you will get more realization from all the problems that you are facing. So I always remember these words of Srila Guru Maharaj. My homage is much, much longer, but due to time constraints and many other devotees need to give their homages too. I'm cutting short it to go to the last part. I Mataji, I'm, I'm sorry, but we do not have time. Sorry, uh, we okay. really have to cut. Yeah, thank you very much, Mataji. Significant, humble servant, Sri Devi Gaurangi Devi Dasi. Haribo. Okay, we have two more speakers, uh, Guru Maharaj. Um, uh, one from Malaysia and all of us from Singapore are coming together to speak. So, can we have uh, Divya Drishti Devi Dasi to, 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 uh, to present her homage, please? Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, thank you to the organizers for this opportunity. Please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet, Guru Maharaj. Our God is to Siddha Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, my family and I are very fortunate to have had your association for almost 20 years now. Thank you for all the opportunities to serve you, to hear the transcendental uh, topics from you, and to meet the wonderful God family from around the world. Serving you, Guru Maharaj, has always brought me a lot of joy. However, I pray and beg that by your mercy one day I can imbibe your mood in serving Srila Prabhupada. The verse, Yasha Prashada, Bhagavad Prashado, Yasha Prashada, Nagatri, Utopi, from the song of Vishwana Chakravarti Takura, constantly reminds me of the importance of obtaining your mercy, Guru Maharaj. I pledge to renew my efforts to sincerely chant the holy names and study regularly Srila Prabhupada's transcendental books. I fall at your lotus feet and pray at your lotus feet to please forgive me for all my offenses, and I pray that Lord Sinashima protects you always. Thank you for showering me with your mercy of love for Krishna and his dear devotees. I'm eternally indebted to you, Guru Maharaj. We need you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you to the organizers and your spiritual daughter and servant. Divya Dishya Devi Das. Hare Krishna. Hare Bo. Thank you very much, Mataji. Um, so this is the last offering, uh, Guru Maharaj. We are you know, really mindful that uh, we have taken too much of your time, Guru Maharaj. So this is the, the group from Singapore. Uh, all of us would like to you know, due to the shortage of time, we are not able to give you individual So all of us are coming as a group. Right? Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. 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 We miss you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Come soon, Maharaj. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, uh, thank you to all the devotees who have assisted with this uh, Vyasa Puja. Uh, preparations and uh, over to you Padmanayan Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you Padmanayan Prabhu. It was a nice recognition on your side that uh, we are very happily watching the offerings of the devotees. Probably can you mute? Um, okay, so now we are uh, very happy to announce that His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj has sent His uh, blissful message to greet His Holiness on His Holy Appearance Vyasa Puja celebration. So let's spend a few minutes to hear Maharaj's message and then we will go to the next program. I'd like to offer my humble 
humble obeisances my dear My dear God, brother, His Holiness, Bhakti, Vignu Vinashak, Vignu Vinashak, Shema Swami. I'm very fortunate that He's helping me reach in Thailand and Malaysia. And His participation. And my abhors, Rekamas, and different functions is highly appreciated. He also learned, learned Chinese, and he's very active in preaching to uh, Kasha Desh and other Chinese people. So I'm very thankful that he's been giving us his association here in my world and that I have a very good fortune to be having him assist in various yachts in the East. So on this occasion of his we are for the celebration, I like to offer my humble appreciation for the great service he is doing. And may he be always engaged in Prabhupada's dear service. Krishna. I hope this finds him a good health. And that he will be ever wistfully engaged in Prabhupada's Seva. Your servant, Jai Vagasari. Hari Bo. Sri Sima Jai Padaka Swami Guru Maharaj Ki. Jai. Okay, so. This is such a wonderful moment for all of us. As you have been hearing from the experience of different devotees, how the Gurus in our moment have been struggling hard. They're putting their life and soul to help us become Krishna conscious. So now let us take this opportunity to go to the next part of the pro program where <coughs> We, on behalf of the devotees who have assembled here and the devotees online, we will make our humble offering to Maharaj. And uh, at this point in time, also we would like to recognize our dear devotees from Malaysia, His Grace Marichi Prabhu, and uh, Juna Janmashtami Prabhu, who is the founder of Mayapur Institute in Mayapur. And uh, when Prabhu started this program, he was always in touch with Maharaj, even now also. So Maharaj has been supporting Mayapur Institute. So Prabhuji is here to greet Maharaj here. And our dear teacher, His Grace Atma Krishna Prabhu, Radhika Nagar Prabhu, our whole Mayapur Institute family members are here. So now, let us all try to offer our offering to Maharaj by offering the arati as per the rule of the GBC body that once in a year we can offer our puja to our Guru Maharaj. Okay, so please you can be seated wherever you are and I will request His Grace Devadharma Prabhu Devadharma Prabhu to kindly kind of lead the Kirtan, Sri Guru Charana Padma and we will continue. Hare Krishna. Bye. 
Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna So now we are uh, bringing Vogo, because as uh, you know Maharaj wanted to offer puja to Prabhupada also on this day. So now we are bringing Vogo, we will make the arrangement and then Maharaj will offer Vogo to Prabhupada and then after that he will offer Arati to Prabhupada and this is how we will conclude the program. So now while we are making the arrangement for Vogo offering, I would request Devadana Prabhu to continue with the mild kirtan and we all can enjoy the kirtan while we are arranging offering. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama.
So now we will, uh, Maharaj will offer Arati to Prabhupada. So before we start, I'll chant Maharaj Prana Mantra. You all have flowers. We'll offer to Gurudev. Then Gurudev will offer Arati to Prabhupada. Okay? Uh, Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vigna Vinasa Narasingha Itinamine Esapaspanjali Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vigna Vinasa Nrsingha Iti Namine Esa Puspanjali Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vigna Vinasa Narasingha Iti Namine Esa Puspanjali Okay, now we will chant Sangsarada Banal and you all can follow us in the Kirtan. Hare Krishna. Jai! Samsara dava nalali dalaka Tranaya karunna ghana ghana tam Samsara Come 
राम पार सुतारंग वाज बंदे गुरास्वी चरणारविंदन
Vishnupad, Paramahansa Paribraja Kacharya, Ashtatara Sata Sri Srimad, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedan Swami, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Iskan Founder Acharya, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnupad, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Ananta Koti Vaishnavrinda Ki, Namacharya Srila Harida Sakur Ki, Prem Shri Gaur Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadarhar, Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vindaki, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopagopina, Shyam Kun Radha Kun, Giri Govardhan Ki, Vrindavan Mayapur Dham Ki, 
Ganga Mai Yamuna Mai Ki, Josi Maharani Bhakti Devi Ki, Yuga Dharma Harinam Sankirtan Ki. All glories to assembled devotee. All glories to assembled devotees. All glories to assembled devotees. Oh, glory, Sri Guru, Sri Gauranga, Nitai Gorsi Dhanath Premanande. Jai. Hari Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. So now we are at the last part of our program. So now we can request the devotees who would like to make some humble offering to Gurudev on his auspicious day of appearance. So you can come forward, you can make the offering while mild kirtan is going on. Devadharma Prabhu, just chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Okay. Sri Srimad Bhakti Vigna Vinasa Narasimha Swami Guru Maharaj Ki Srila Prabhupada Ki Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hari Hari Bol Hari Bol Mataji on another another line and Prabhuji on another line. Please come forward to offer to your gift to your beloved Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna dear devotees please don't come near Maharaj you can make your humble offering and live without touching Maharaj because there is a strict instruction from the disciples. They are very much concerned about Maharaj's health. Considering the current pandemic situation, we are humbly requesting everybody not to come near Gurudev. You can make your offering on the table and Gurudev will accept it. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ramo Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo Ram Ram Hare Hare Krishna Hare Bolo Bolo Kirtan Kirtan Hare Krishna Hare 
Krishna. So we are very happy to come to the conclusion of the program. At the end, we would like to convey our thanks and gratitude to the devotees who have come forward to bring success to this program. His Grace Padmalochan Prabhu from Singapore, Kasturi, Ma Kasturi Manjari Mataji, who we are mostly taking care of the Zoom services. Then Sati Devidasi and Jamuna Priya Mataji from China for presenting the drama on Zoom. And His Grace Tamal Duti Prabhu, Damodar Prabhu, Binayak Prabhu, and our great Kirtanya Devadharma Prabhu, plus other devotees who have joined online to glorify His Holiness. So thank you all devotees very much. So now we can go for prasadam as soon as you complete your acceptance of cake from Guru Maharaj. Sri Srimad Bhakti Vigna Vinashana Singha Swami Guru Maharaj Ki. Sri Srimad Bhakti Vigna Vinashana Singha Swami Guru Dev's Appearance Day Celebration Festival Ki. Sri La Prabhupada Ki. Samaveta Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Ki. Jai Nitai Gaura Primanande Hari Hari Bol Hari Bol. Now we are requesting all devotees to go to the Prasadam Hall and honor Mahaprasadam. Thank you all very much. Hare Krishna.